Hey, what's up? It's Tony from LearnAutoBodyInPaint.com and today, today I want to talk to you about the seven must-have auto body tools when getting started in auto body repair and painting, okay? There are seven must-have tools if you're getting into this as a serious hobby, you want to make some money and uh, you're starting up a little home garage or a little shop on the side, these are the seven essential tools that you need when getting started, okay? Now, maybe a couple of them you really don't need, but for speed, uh, I think it's necessary that you have them. This way you get to complete your jobs quicker uh, and all that stuff. So right now I'm gonna do a short little video, uh, something that I've never done before. Uh, I'm not gonna go showing you uh, the full, the tools like physically on camera like my other videos, uh, but in this video we're gonna go over to the blog and uh, I'm gonna go over my blog with you and uh, show you what you need, all right? So when you're done with that, be sure to uh, get your 85 page auto body and paint manual. It's on my blog. All you have to do to get it is put your name and email in the form on the side and uh, you'll be able to download it right to your email. So what I'll do is just send it to you, your email address, and you get to download it. Pretty cool. I think you're gonna like it. A lot of people like it. All right, so that's it. Uh, if you're on YouTube watching it, please like, comment, and share. Uh, Facebook it, whatever you wanna do. And if you're on the blog, please put a comment below. I would love to hear back from you, all right? So again, it's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Let's get into the seven must-have auto body tools. All right, awesome. So we are on the blog at LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com right now. Uh, remember, if you're on YouTube watching this video, the seven must-have auto body tools, after this, click the link below inside of the description and uh, make sure you go to LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com to get this free 85-page ebook right over here. Uh, you see this book right over here I'm pointing to or I'm circling right now? This book uh, has put a lot, a lot of money in people's pockets. Uh, people just saving money because they learn so much stuff from this book here. And it's about all auto body and paint stuff, right? There's 85 pages of full content. So after watching this video, you want to make sure you go there to download it. All you have to do uh, is basically put your name and your email right over here uh, to download it. You know, just tell us where you found us. Uh, and that's it. So here we are. We are on the blog, and let's just quickly talk about the seven must-have auto body tools. Right. The first thing uh, you're gonna really need is an air compressor. All right. So make sure you look for an air compressor like this. Um, it doesn't have to be brand new. All right. So if you don't have the budget. Uh, go ahead, look on craigslist.com or look at some kind of uh, swap meet that you have in your local area and uh, look for an air compressor. You know, if you're going to be painting uh, cars and you're going to be getting getting into this as a good hobby or uh, money-making venture, then uh, you want to get at least a 60-gallon tank, all right? Uh, if you're going with 80 or 90-gallon, it may be overkill for the house, uh, but a 60-gallon size tank with a 5 to 7 horsepower on it uh, will set you back from anywhere from 300 to over 1500 bucks, depending on what brand you got. Uh, I just picked out a Puma here, so if you check this one out here, it's just a Puma. You can get it on Amazon.com for $529, brand new. All right, so it's not bad actually. Uh, then we have a little DeWalt here. If you're looking to do side small jobs, uh, maybe painting motorcycles and all that, uh, a 20 to 30 gallon is ideal but here we just pecked out a little 15 gallon dewalt for you 299 bucks uh, you could also get the craftsman uh, compressors for about 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 the same price 299 but they're basically the 33 gallon tanks uh, which is a good size for all around touch-ups painting motorcycles and all that stuff if you look and it gets set up you know small and just start somewhere uh, it's a good little compressor to have. I actually have one of the little ones in my uh, garage, 30, 33 gallon, I think it is. Uh, but over at the shop, uh, we have our big 90 gallon Quincy uh, is what we're running. But uh, my brother, he has a, uh, a 60 gallon Craftsman at home, and the thing works beautifully. You know, they'll paint all of your projects, whatever you're working on, it'll, it'll supply more than enough air for all of your pneumatic tools and all that other good stuff. All right. Second one, high volume, <coughs> low pressure spray gun. 
all right you're gonna need a spray gun and again uh, the whole thing is is what you can afford all right so if you can afford a SADA $600 $700 SADA get it all right if you can't afford it then uh, Devil Biss is fine all right you'll be spending about a hundred bucks to 150 on average uh, we have our little Amazon links here so if you want to order through there uh, you could do that uh, this is great if you're in the US if you're not in the US then uh, you know you maybe want to order from somewhere else so you can get it delivered to you all right, so spray gun. Um, we have a, a lot of text here on the website. So if you want to read more about this, I'm just going to shoot out the seven basic tools that you're probably going to need when getting started. Uh, if you want to go more in depth, like I said, after this video, uh, click the link below to go to the website here and you can get a, you know, a lot better rundown on it. Uh, number three is the dual action sander. Okay, the dual action sander right over here one of my favorite machines because you can cut a lot of time off your body work uh, by knowing how to use one of these things all right you can get the cheaper ones for about 40 50 bucks uh, to all the way up to about 150 bucks now this is a good brand here Ingersoll Rand uh, $88 or buy new for 99 bucks that is totally worth it so if you have a hundred bucks uh, this thing will last you years and years and years I bought mine um, probably I would say going on 10 years now and I'm still using my low pro DA sander it works perfectly no problems the only things you really got to replace once in a while are the discs the little foam discs over here uh, these little yellow discs that I'm pointing to right there that's all you really have to replace all right um, next slide hammer or a stud welder okay slide hammer or stud welder uh, for pulling out dents okay it's something that you know you really don't need the stud welder when first starting out if all you have is 20 30 bucks and you just want to get a quick little easy dent puller um, all you need is a little dent puller drill a hole and uh, pull your dent out okay there's also the glue type uh, you're probably asking me why didn't you put the glue type on here uh, the glue type is basically for body panels that that you haven't ground down yet to metals right uh, to pull out and they're really not that good it has to be on a shiny clean surface so you can't really stick it on um, to a grinded surface you know it's it's best to do it on a clean painted surface stick it on and then you could pop it out that way but there's those types also if you're gonna be getting into it uh, one of these stud welders here are really 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 key uh, to doing some auto body jobs right here uh, when they first came out 15 years ago or so they were about you know a good 400 bucks uh, if you really wanted one of these things now under 180 90 bucks uh, you can get them on Amazon sometimes even cheaper uh, harborfreight.com is another good website so be sure to check uh, that site out okay moving on uh, number five an auto body hammer and dolly tool set all right so get yourself a little auto body hammer tool set uh, because you're gonna need it you know it comes in handy good to have uh, you're only gonna be spending about 30 bucks basically for a uh, basic all around by Nico here uh, seven piece auto body you know you get little dollies dollies are these metal things that you use to help shape panels with you put them in back of fenders uh, and stuff like that all right pretty cool here and don't worry because at the VIP club at learnautobodyandpaint.com uh, we show you exactly how to use all of these tools uh, so you get amazing results on any kind of projects that you're working on so not only are we talking about them, we're going to show you exactly step by step how to use it to bang out your your next auto body and paint project all right, so be sure you pick yourself up a, uh, a cheap little hammer and dolly set. Uh, it's going to be a one-time investment for you forever, and you'll you'll basically have it uh, forever. Me, I use my father's. He passed it down to me, and uh, I'm still using his uh, hammer and dolly set. Uh, he just has so much tools. Um, number six right here is basic, basic blocks. All right, you need sanding blocks. Uh, when you're doing auto body and paint and basically use them all right use your sanding blocks uh, they come in handy uh, I this one on the left here is called the holy block and I like that one I I get I have like a bunch of them in my toolbox 
and I use this a lot. It's good for wet, dry sandpaper, sanding, and all that stuff. The Dura Block here is also good. All right, so be sure to check out the Dura Block. Um, you know, you could also use a paint stir as a block. You could use a piece of two by four as a block. Uh, but as far as ergonomics, uh, you want to have something soft on your hands that's com comfortable and easy to use. Uh, so go ahead and make sure you use something nice. And for number seven, okay, number seven, you want to use your little Bondo spreader and putty knives. All right, Bondo spreader and putty knife, okay? So, uh, like I say here, I talk about it in this little text here. If you want to go ahead and go to the blog and read more about it. Um, basically, the metal ones are great, but if you leave Bondo on it, it's a little pain in the butt to clean afterwards. You got to chip it off and then probably got to just sand it down with your, uh, your DA or, or your wire wheel, whatever you want to do uh, with these metal uh, mixers, okay, these putty knives. Uh, but the plastic ones here I love because they're cheap. Once they get old, you throw them out. And uh, when you're done filling uh, with your body filler on your car, whatever you're working on, you could basically leave the leftover Bondo on it, let it get hard, and then just peel it off. And it comes off a nice one clumpy piece. And uh, the thing lasts you a, a, little, a pretty long while, you know. And uh, you could cut them down if they're too long. Uh, they come in 3 inch, 5 inch, and 6, six or 8 inch or whatever sizes. And you could cut them in half if they're too long and all that other good stuff. All right, so pretty, pretty neat. So that's basically the seven must-have auto body tools. Uh, you really don't need the DA here, all right? It's just for cutting time and, you know, speeding up the sanding process. You could do all the sanding by hand if you want to. Like I say, you know, 80, 90% of body work is done by elbow grease and by hand, all right? So you don't really need it, but I put it in as uh, as needed because it's it's really good to have, and that's... It's an investment that you're going to make one time, all right? Just like your uh, other tools, like your compressor, those things will last you years and years and years to come. Even your spray gun will last you years and years to come as long as you keep them clean, all right? That's the main thing. So I hope you like this little blog post and video. Uh, go ahead, be sure to click the link below uh, right now, okay, if you're on YouTube, and go to the blog and leave a comment. You can see this section here. Uh, you can leave a comment right in here for me. Uh, leave your thoughts, comment, and uh, if you're on Facebook, go ahead, Facebook it, leave a little comment. Love to hear back from you. And also, be sure to click this blue link here when you're on the blog. Click this blue link right over here because it's gonna tell you all about our VIP training club and community, all right? We have uh, close to four and a half thousand VIP members from all across the world learning everything there is to know about auto body and paint uh, through video training, um, community support, live Q&A calls, and so much more. So be sure to check that out. Uh, when you have time. It's really, really amazing, and I think, well, I know you're gonna like it, okay? It's gonna look uh, a little bit uh, like a page like this, all right? Uh, if you wanna become a bodywork ninja, paint prep, and all that other stuff, you're gonna learn so much more. You're gonna see some of our member testimonials here. You can click play listen to all that stuff, check about uh, Clint Eastwood and how you could be a paint gun sharpshooter. All right, pretty interesting stuff here and uh, I wanna tell you more okay, about it. Okay, awesome, I hope you like that content. Uh, remember, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com if you're not there right now and get your 85 page auto body and paint manual. It's packed with jam packed cutting edge information an auto body in paint, and uh, just even yesterday I got a reply from somebody saying, Tony, that manual is awesome. I have the confidence now to go tackle my own projects uh, without any more information. So it's amazing. All right, so again, it's Tony. Like the video, share it, and I'll see you on the website. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.